But you have Indiana maybe playing Kentucky. You have to have, I mean, that's on purpose, right? Oh, absolutely yeah. not. Indiana playing Kentucky in round two is not? <laughs> no. Uh, Texas, Texas A&M in round two is not? Oh, no. I was giving you guys all this credit for having imagination, uh, no. Joe. Well, we have it. We're just not allowed to use it. <laughs> oh, you're not? <laughs> no. It's, uh, it, there are a lot of, of uh, theories that come up from time to time, Dan, and they think that we concoct these certain matchups well, like wait, that. But Joe, it Joe happen. you were going to have Bob Knight at Texas A&M play – Indiana in round two. Now, what are the odds of that happening, Joe? Well, we can debate that all all show long, but the the idea that I'm complimenting they actually, you, yeah, it it happens. You know, maybe we don't deserve as much credit as we're getting. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but uh, in in any case, you know the the idea of trying to make that happen could intentionally or unintentionally compromise someone else's seed in the tournament. And then I think that's obviously unfair. So you have to start with whatever rules you, that have been established. You can't get into the middle of the process and start arbitrarily compromising them because in spite of our great creativity, <laughs> you know, uh, we found something we want to do that you know, is a little bit outside of the box of the rules. We, we won't do that. Because then when you, integrity and credibility in this process is paramount. You can argue whatever we come up with whether you like it or not that's fine but the process the rules the criteria the principles govern what we do and you can't arbitrarily change them once you're in it